Hello everybody, this is Jonathan uh, the not comments, and I'm showing you the IO bit on the Solar 5.0 beta. Um, this is definitely a much better, cleaner user interface right off the bat. It looks more in line with the actual program than the previous version. Super clean. Um, actually, it looks very pleasant as opposed to the other one, which was kind of clunky. Uh, 4.0 definitely didn't have a nice interface. Uh, they added some new tools as well. You can change the settings and let's just jump into some of the major things. Um, they added new tools in the toolbar obviously. Uh, let's just go in there. The cleanup residu residual will help you find and cl clean the files left by average uninstallation in Windows Pad. Basically what this means is if you download something chances are it's gonna and you uninstall it chances are some things are gonna get left the shortcuts random files from windows cache files um, the download file location scan files in default download location and download tools uh, well, actually we'll do a test right now it allows me to actually scan and look for useless junk. Windows patch. Clean the remaining cache generated by installing patches. Patches can aren't always Windows related. Most of the time they're from things like Adobe or Java. And this can help you clean them up. Download file location. Um, this will help you clean up your downloads folder. I'm just gonna say this right now. If you have a ridiculously large downloads folder, which 90% of us did, mine was ridiculous the other day, and I spent a good time cleaning it up completely. So chances are is you're gonna wanna clean all these up. Um, I won't do the invalid. I'm not gonna do the Windows patch, but I will do the download file and the invalid shortcuts. And it'll clean up my downloads folder, which has the IOBAN uninstaller and a banner that I installed that I downloaded. And now it's cleaned up. The uninstall history allows you to check what programs you uninstalled. If uninstallation was not powerful, there would be residual. So you can click if I uninstalled a program and I didn't use the powerful scan, I can go through here and it will scan the uninstalled the previously uninstalled programs if there were any residual files left. The file shredder simply allows you to add files that you want to be deleted permanently. Um, it's basically the process of uh, when you have a disk and you uninstall something. It's there. There's a one or a zero saying, "Is there some? Is there information in this part? Yes or no?" While you uninstall a program, you don't have the space on your hard drive. It's there's still data there technically. It just allows it to be written over. So you have that one or zero, so it's still going to show a one, I call it a pseudo one, because even though there's information in there, it can be written over. This basically takes that process and it will find the location of those files. So if I deleted this shortcut, there's going to be a one on my hard drive saying there's information here even after I've deleted it through the recycle bin. What this does is it says alright, so then it creates a new file, an empty data file, fills that one spot where this used to be and then deletes it and then does it so many times that in theory you shouldn't be able to retrieve it sometimes though as we all know people manage to retrieve it anyways because they're just computer freaking ninjas at that point and they deserve it watch out for keyboard ninjas kids they will hunt you it's a very interesting tool but it's kind of overdone most people are going to use this and they'll have no reason to if you're deleting secure documents like bank statements um, transactions stuff that's on a business type of computer this is something you should be using most of the time though you should be perfectly fine just by using the regular recycle bin windows tools okay um this this is truly just allows you to go and get quick they're basically just shortcuts to windows tools like the registry features taskbar so a lot of these people don't normally know how to get to easily so they just took the important ones and said here we go here you go now you'll be able to find what you're looking for typically people don't know how to access the registry and because you're not supposed to get there and if people get there and start scoring around they'll break things 
uh, systems with the services, a lot of people don't know how to get to. The security center, everyone pretty much knows how to get to. Windows features, very few people know how to get to, and so on and so forth. The Win Windows Manager, I wouldn't call this a new feature, but it's definitely a new tab. It allows you, it, in the previous version, IOBit 4, Honest Installer 4, all the things were basically compressed into here. The toolbars and plugins, the Win Manager, they basically separated it which made it much much better because now not everything is congested so if I'm wanting to look for a program if I'm looking for a specific app I can find that fairly easily now without searching through a ton of programs and trying to find it through a clunky user interface the startup I could find specific programs that are on my system startup or are trying to be as we could see, this program is enabled on my startup. I could uninstall it, or I can disable it. I'm not going to do that though because it's my firewall and I'm not going to mess around with it. The processes, uh, you can uninstall uh, non -win these are non-Windows processes, which means if you uninstall them, you won't break your computer completely, but you might break some programs. Um, you can either end the task by clicking over here, or you can uninstall the program causing it. If I uninstalled this, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be able to record the video that I'm showing you now to do this in the first place. Now that's a mouthful. You, it's it's still not a very useful feature. Windows updates is probably a useful one. Uh, Windows has really gotten, I wouldn't say sloppy, but they've been breaking things quite frequently. Uh, they've been sending out very many botched updates that have just been causing problems. And you can quickly just bulk uninstall. Hmm. Interesting. Where I can't do a bulk uninstall here. That's disappointing. I can't do it here either. Hmm. Guess that would be an interesting feature if it automatically checked all of them. But at the same time, if someone did that and uninstalled all their programs and all the Windows updates, there'd be a problem. It's definitely a much cleaner user interface. It's more elegant, it's more in line with modern standards, and look, you could finally go full screen with it. I don't know why that was such a big deal for a lot of these programs, is you just can't go full screen. Or do anything really outside of this little square. I want to make it... I can just play around with it at that point. A lot of semi-new features. I'm definitely liking the tools where I can do the cleanup, uh, especially the patch cache. Um, I guess the uninstall history, the f it, it's got new tools, but it's definitely not a feature update. It was more of a user interface update, which the company commonly goes like 0.3 major update, 0.4 major update, 0.2 major update. That, that's just what they do. But suddenly, a clean user interface has quite a few new features that are pretty handy. And I still kind of overall recommend it more than Revo and Installer. If you haven't tried them, actually, we could probably check out the full list. We'll use this browser. Oh. Huh. This is the 360 browser. Never had a real reason to use it. 360. IO bit. Uninstaller 5 beta. This is their full. Here's their full spiel. Brand new UI. Yep. You add in new tools, I'll give you that. Support continuing the last uninstall interrupted by a system reboot. That's handy. What this is, is when sometimes people would either accidentally restart their computer, their computer would restart from Windows update, and they would commonly get botched uninstalled programs, which I kind of akin to. You try to uninstall the program, and then a bunch of files get left, and you can't uninstall it normally because it became corrupted. 
and that would cause a lot of issues and the only real way is to go through and find all of the files manually which is a major pain support removing the plugins not installed via the chrome web store this is great because a lot of times plugins or extensions will get added by malicious programs modern editor and remove malicious eh, their antivirus kind of sucks and i mean that in all honesty it doesn't do well even in my own test quick uninstall supports more programs quick uninstall basically it just goes through and uninstalls all for you automatically so basically if you want to uninstall a program it'll automatically do that for you you basically don't even have to lift your finger you could sit back and freaking sm smoke or drink a beer it wouldn't matter optimize uninstall process to make it simpler and lighter that's not really mm, that's not a feature but it's definitely a better thing and enhanced these are the, the these two I always see in an update. They always say they do it, and I've never noticed the difference. What it probably happens is on older systems, you'll be trying to remove remove something, and it just doesn't go. It'll constantly like freeze, or it will just be a huge strain on resources. So definitely, it's there's some good updates to it. I'm I'm liking the new interface. I'm probably just gonna keep this one. And check my toolbars and plugins and Internet Explorer. Let's see what Internet Explorer has. I don't know why I can't uninstall Internet Explorer yet, but it's kind of a drag. It's really good. Um, definitely check it out. Try it. Um, I like it. Ton of features, very useful, free. Check it out in their forums. You just have to search for it. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned to the next video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, recommendations, or suggestions, put them below, and I'll make sure to check them out. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.